What's going on guys, Zach here from Dose of ET, bringing you guys another video. So this time, if you've seen my previous video of the PC that I bought my brothers, um, this is the monitor that I got for him. So, I won't spoil anything in the other, um, other video, go check it out. It's an average PC, it's nothing insane compared to the PC that I built. But, so, the monitor that I bought them is this HP 25140. 144 hertz it has G-Sync adaptive um, sync so um, the PCs they have are AMD's um, maybe down the road they get NVIDIA I think NVIDIA is better depending on what you're doing sometimes AMD is better it just depends but we'll see who actually wins the race coming up in this next year um, right now if you see my video I have the 28 Super so I have the top of the line mm -hmm. AMD is not really close to that type of graphics card yet. Depending on when you watch this video, it might be different. But this is the monitor I bought, one milliseconds. It's only 1080p. The PCs, the PCs my brothers have, um, they won't be able to do too well at 144. But this will get the job done for now. Then maybe next year we upgrade the graphics card or something and get them a new monitor or something like that to see. Um, that's what they want next year, but we'll see what they actually want for Christmas next year. But let's open this puppy up so you guys can see. So this monitor I bought from Best Buy. If you've seen any of my other videos, a lot of the stuff I buy is from Best Buy just because I work part-time there. Um, so I get pretty good deals, discounts. This one was not on a discount. This was on one of their flash sales Best Buy had. So I bought I bought it off their flash set. So to open up the box, start out with it looks like we got an HDMI cable, then obviously your power cable. Um, that is all that's in the first little tab here. So as you guys can see, that's how the monitor comes in. It comes with an adjustable stand. So they can move the monitor up and down. The monitor also can swivel um, 180 degrees so it can be vertical. Here is the base stand right there. I'll open that up here in a second. And the last thing, it looks like we just have documentation. Granted, we don't need that. So, let's lay this down. Let's lay the monitor on it. Cut this open so you guys can see. Okay, so if you guys can see at all, hopefully you're able to see. Right down here, um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see pretty well or not. You got your buttons to do all your menu stuff. Right here, you have your power cable. You move this way. You got your line in right here. These look like two little vent ports. They don't look like anything special. HDMI and display ports. So you only have two options on this. So if you're looking to have this as like a, a spare monitor just to use around, not a bad monitor. Um, to have but if you're looking with the monitor that has a lot of ports because you have a PC you have a console for whatever reason and maybe you have something else hooked up um, you're gonna be shorting yourself with the amount of um, ports that you have granted you can buy like a, a switch like an HDMI switch if you really want to do that that's just another hassle thing nothing you have to buy so it's a good thing to keep in mind that you only have two um, ports on this monitor but from everything I read um, it's a pretty good monitor, has pretty good quality when it comes to picture. If you've seen my video of my 240Hz, that picture is good, but it's not great. This picture on this monitor should be a lot better than what mine is. Mine was just made for 240Hz. You can see the unboxing video of that. Um, it comes with a lot more than what this comes with like when it comes to accessories and stuff like that. But this monitor also is a lot cheaper than that monitor. This monitor retails for like 250 somewhere around there. And my monitor re retails for like 
$500. I didn't pay that much, but it's just insane. So the best thing about this um, is this stand. So it's literally just a little screw here on the back. You pop it in there, it snaps in. You just screw this, this puppy in, tighten it up, and boom, you got your stand on. Move all that out of the way. So pretty simple, I'll show you guys how it works. So it does slide up and down, got pretty good height, then it also rotates to be vertical, which is also nice too. Most people like that option to have it go vertical. If you have a smaller desk, you can't really fit two monitors lengthwise side by side or even turned a little bit. But uh, it's always nice to have a monitor that can do that. And it does it smooth. Like, I have to put a little force right here just to get it down. It tilts forward and backwards, pretty good angles. So, honestly, if you're just looking for a good monitor, it'll give you good quality at 144 hertz. Granted, it's only 1080p. Maybe it's just a monitor you display like words on or whatever. Like if you're in Discord, you just display your chat on this if you want it as a side monitor. Or maybe you're using this monitor for other reasons and you don't want to use it for gaming, but you have it for other uses. It'll work too. I think it's a really good monitor. I think you'll really like it. Now, depending on what you do with it, it's all up to you. But I like this monitor. I think it's really nice. It's the reason why I bought it for my brothers. And it was kind of cheap. Um, it was a little little bit expensive. I think it was like 180 bucks when I bought it and I bought two of them So it does come kind of expensive if you're buying multiple, but there you go guys. Thanks for watching. Peace